Would you recommend anyone giving ultra-high temperature pasteurized milk to an obese child? Absolutely not. It just causes more and more inflammation. And as that goes into your endocrine system, your brain picks up. This is what you get You get on a, a schedule. We, we train our bodies for what, what we eat. And the more we train our body for having this inflammatory um, substance that we put in it, the more inflammation that we put out. So it's, it's actually really difficult to break that cycle once you get in it. And it gets into your endocrine system. Your, your brain starts to create a, um, a memory for it, just like muscle memory. Um, so you mean you crave the thing that is right, causing your inflammation. Right. And that's, um, it's, it's very well known that uh, there's certain things that you're allergic to that you crave. So a lot of people that have allergies tend to crave those things so because they're allergic to them. So let me just clarify then, the epidemic of food allergies that we hear about in the United States is really coming from, not, it's not that people have food allergies, it's that people are having inflammatory responses to bad food. It's exactly right. The top four allergens in the U.S. are casein protein, um, albumin, which are found in eggs, so casein that's in milk, so dairy, um, albumin that's found in eggs, soy, and uh, there is a third or a fourth one. Give me a second. Soy. It'll come to me. I'll come back to it. Gluten. Gluten. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't remember. So let's talk about all four of those real quick. So casein, it's because it's that beta A1 casein that we totally view as poison. We have no receptor for it. Soy. We've GMO'd all soy that's out there. There's Unless you're in Japan and you're getting tofu that's fermented in a condiment, basically, it's, it's a GMO substance and your body views it as poison. Albumin, mainly egg whites because they're, we're feeding our um, chickens, corn, and soy feed. And so it's uptaking that GMO protein into their protein, which is albumin and produced in the eggs. And so we're getting inflammation from that because, or we're, and we're seeing allergies to the albumin because it's all that GMO feed that we're feeding the chickens. And uh, finally, gluten, well, obviously wheat, we're totally uh, growing wheat in these unfertilized, um, uh, I would say, low, low fertile soils, unfertile soils and a hybridized, again, GMO um, grain and your body, the gluten content is absolutely insane. Um, they say like, spelt is a real nice old world that has a, a content of gluten, but nobody has a effect, it doesn't have an effect on anybody's body because it's that natural gluten that's coming out rather than these high levels of gluten that people are um, really getting a lot of inflammation and, um, and indigestion from. So it's interesting that those four all stem back to not having whole foods, not having a quality product that's, that's unpasteurized, that's unhomogenized, that's non-irradiated.